Okay, awesome. Um, this is something that I wanted to do for the main channel, and uh, again, I claim no copyright for this content that is being portrayed. This is only being used for educational purposes to educate the uh, you know the general public for their safe you know for safety and um, yeah. Well, again, no, uh, this isn't used for any, uh, you know, money purposes, not making any money off of this content. It's only used for educational purposes. Now, without that, without that, with that other, <laughs> with that out of the way, um, let's get right in it. This will be a segment of, uh, three vids. This is the first one, and then there are going to be other two. There is another one, um, but I'll just leave a uh, link to it in the description because it's a two hour long video. Now, I did segments on this on the other channel and I couldn't uh, do it from the main one at the time because at the same time during it, like I only had a couple hours before I had to go to work. If you would have seen the vids that I put as I was posting, you would have seen that that uh, that phone had, uh, you know, the last video on the guide channel. You would have seen that this phone had little battery life in it and that I very already gave you an explanation of how they were messing with the chargers. Um, I got a tip video on my other channel. You can check that out if you want. But uh, with that out of the way, let's get started. Oh, hang on. We uh, checked the volume. Oh, okay, good. I'm good on volume. Go back up. Truth unveiled here. And if you're thinking about going to Starbucks to get your favorite Frappuccino, here are some reasons to think twice. And here are some startling truths you didn't know about Starbucks. Of course, there's the obvious choice of the not-so-real ingredients at Starbucks such as pesticides, harmful chemicals and colorings, GMOs, and many other ingredients that you cannot even pronounce that are found in their coffees, smoothies, frappuccinos, and even their foods. And sadly, the coffee and the ingredients are not as natural as they say, because according to the EPA, pesticides are the lead causes and are attributed to diseases such as Lyme, West Nile, asthma, allergies, the avian flu, prions, and even anthrax. And if you're ordering your favorite pumpkin spice latte, you better ask for a side of pumpkin because all you're going to get is Monsanto and more Monsanto. And although Starbucks claims to have removed artificial flavorings and colorings in their pumpkin spice lattes, many of their other drinks, including this one, still contains harmful compounds and chemicals. And according to the FDA's Code of Federal Regulations, Title 21, Voluntary declaration can be decided when it comes to colorings in your favorite butters, cheeses, and ice creams. This means that companies do not have to tell you, nor do they have to disclose the harmful ingredients and colorings and artificial ingredients used in their products and or items. And what about the effects of caramel and caramel coloring that's found in your favorite Starbucks drinks? Could this be harmful too, and is it really even caramel? Well, not really, because according to an article from the Center for Science and the Public Interest, a study was done by the National Toxicology Program under the Division of the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, which found that many effects of caramel coloring in your favorite drinks, such as Coca-Cola and many other places, could result in cancer threats to humans, and in California alone, caramel colorings have been added to the state's list of chemicals known to cause cancer. And the harrowing ingredients that's also found in frappuccinos is also very alarming indeed. So it's no wonder or coincidence why the CEO of Starbucks doesn't even drink the frappuccinos and for good reason too. Because Starbucks, like many other fast food places and companies, use GMOs in their ingredients. And in fact, in a 2014 to 15 press release on whether or not Starbucks uses Sorry for pausing it. If you wonder what GMO is, in case you don't know, GMO is genetically modified crops. Is GMOs are genetically modified organisms in their ingredients, which are genetically modified and engineered in a laboratory to appear as real food. Although Starbucks has claimed to have no lawsuit pursuant to GMO labeling or Monsanto affiliation, Starbucks has still yet to comment on whether or not they actually use GMO products in their drinks and food items. 
But one ingredient that Starbucks has removed from their menu is their bugs and their drinks. Considering how Starbucks used to place bugs in their strawberry drinks, even though they claim they don't anymore, we know better than this. Because as of 2012, Starbucks labeled their strawberry flavored drinks with cochineal extract, which is obtained from the cochineal beetle and then crushed into tiny little red bugs until the red coloring forms a dye and it's used mostly in your canned fruits, red candies, and formerly your Starbucks drinks. Not to mention cellulose gum found in your favorite breakfast sandwiches in Starbucks, another ingredient that's also found in wood pulp, Propylene glycol, which is commonly used for antifreeze, but somehow made it into your apple fritters and your cinnamon swirl cakes at Starbucks. And we cannot forget preservatives such as sodium bits. Sorry for pausing it. Okay, so GMO is uh, genetically modified organisms. So I'm guessing genetically modified crops must be GMC, but that's that's kind of that's kind of like a title for a car. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, no, it's not going to be no more interruptions. But after this video, there'll be like two more. It's a weight, which is found in their lemon pound cake, which has been known to increase hyperactivity in children and could form carcinogens in your body, which kills DNA cells and accelerates aging. But if you don't think that the Illuminati have infiltrated Starbucks with their Illuminati flavored ingredients, well, you better think again, because here is some startling Starbucks dark history that you probably did not know about. According to the Starbucks website, back in 1971, when the company came to be, they were in search of a logo and they found and came up with the twin-tailed mermaid called Siren. But there's more to this logo than what meets the eye, because according to them, this logo is known as a seductive mystery at the heart of Starbucks, and after all, who can resist her? But who is she really? According to Greek mythology, Siren is known as the one who lured nearby sailors with enchanting music and sorcery, thereby causing shipwreck for the sailors who were at sea. Is that what's happening to your body when you order a Starbucks meal? Is that what happens to your body when you order a Starbucks Frappuccino or a Cappuccino? Is it causing shipwreck and havoc to your body? Not to mention how Starbucks even promoted nudity in their logo at one point. Definitely not for children, indeed. But what happens when you invert the twin-tailed mermaid logo? Although it looks innocent at first, it actually shows and depicts a demon right in front of you with more sexual innuendo. Bad Starbucks. So when you invert the Starbucks logo back from 1971, this is actually what you get. You get a horned devil, which is the Baphomet, eating a mermaid, and this is what it resembles. And the Baphomet symbol is seen right on the logo, who is a horned transgender goat that's worshipped by the occult and the Illuminati, as well as the Baphomet pentagram. And we know that the pentagram is a common theme when it comes to Satanism specifically. And according to J.E. Serlitt's 1962 book, A Dictionary of Symbols, when you look at Siren, this is what you get, quote, could be symbolic of the torment of desire leading to self-destruction. For their abnormal bodies cannot satisfy the passions that are aroused by their enchanting music and by their beauty of face and bosom. But it looks to be that there's nothing beautiful about this whatsoever and that Starbucks does in fact have a dark side indeed. And that's what you're getting every time you order Starbucks, a side of Illuminati to go with it. So the next time you're thinking about ordering your favorite Frappuccino or Cappuccino, pumpkin spice latte, or even a cake pop, you'll know exactly what you're getting, both physically and spiritually. Because there's more to it than just coffee and very berry hibiscus and free water. Oh, as you have seen, there is much more to it and it goes much deeper than you think. Indeed. 
But as always, remember to seek Yahuwah and his true son, Yahusha, for even more truth, because you will see the rabbit hole always, always goes deeper, and there's always, always a deep and very dark past when it comes to these things. But this is Truth Unveiled here, saying as always, Shalom. Yep, Shalom indeed. Okay, um... Nah, I'm not going to watch that one. That could be for another time. Um, let's see, there's two more. Here's the next one I wanted to uh, go over. This one's going to be mostly about the food that they uh, are doing. Mostly chicken. You're literally sick into my ass with your speech. And it bounces like a freaking ball. <laughs> The health experts and the dietitian have warned consuming this fake grains laced with the poisonous raisin that could even cause death. Take the substitute crab meat that's used in most restaurants. It's basically mechanically separated fish parts that are then mushed into a paste, cooked in a rope form, and then painted with red dye that is made from coal, coal the rock. Here's the thing, if you love crab meat, okay, if you love crab meat, don't get the kind that's out of the uh, shell, and uh, yeah, thank me later on that one, because they can't, uh, yeah, they can't make that, they, they can't do anything with that, but the ones out of it, yeah, that's a whole nother story, but in the, in the long run, it's best just to get a fresh damn crab, okay, <laughs> oh man. or seafood created in a lab? Some Bay Area startups are racing now to fill your plates. We wanted to know, does it really taste like the real thing? Substitute calamari being served in restaurants. Looks, feels, tastes just like calamari. What is this miracle food? It's hog anus, you guys. It's hog anus. And they don't even have to tell you that it's hog anus. You might have been eating hog anus for years now. Ew. Ew. Major suppliers have been caught using a special product known as meat glue to stick together scraps of meat to sell as prime cuts. But while this product is being banned overseas, there's no law prohibiting its use here. Iberia Jasmine rice. It's sold at uh, most Caribbean outlets. The grains are not cooking. The grains are hard. Extremely hard. It balls up very easily and it's sticking. Damn. 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 Now, here, I, I, I feel bad for other TIs and unsuspecting people who, uh, you know, is don't know about this shit, right? But, he, you know, I've seen a lot of gang stalkers really be obsessed with football. How many of these mother mofos must have went to the Super Bowl or football game and ate that shit and not know about what they were really eating? You know all that nasty stuff they like to do to people food, man? This is karma. But unfortunately, it's not as justified because people who are who don't deserve it are also being influenced. In fact, they had no business doing this in the, at the beginning in the, in the first place, man. But this just letting you know how effed up the situation is. This is a pretty standard practice in the food industry, you know, especially here in America. More and more, the things that we eat aren't what we think they are, or even food at all, or even food at all. Wait, let me go back. Eat Let's see aren't what, what we think they are, or... Okay, we... Cheddar cheese, milk cheese, culture, salt enzymes, can, canola oil. If you don't know what canola 
oil is and I started to find this in a lot of cheese snacks okay that's a trans fat this uh, directed energy weapon can in heat to trans fats another thing about milk um here's the thing if drinking milk from a cow was natural why do human females produce milk through the tits okay think about that there's a uh, conspiracy going on even with milk that we're not supposed to be drinking milk from cows man we're not supposed to be drinking that because it wasn't made for us it never was it's not a natural thing for us to drink so if you need um you know vitamin D for your bones or whatever well they have tablets for that man they got like uh, vitamins and stuff for stuff like that you know or even food at all or even food at all hold on I didn't see what was at the last part of that or even food okay protein concert milk okay there you go you could just pause and read that at your own uh, discretion No, no, vegetables too? No, no, they are even fabricating vegetables, man, what the fuck? Seriously, what in the hell? No way. Cabbage is supposed to have a higher reduction rate, doesn't it? Damn. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so hungry. Please feed me some food. I haven't eaten in hours. Hey, don't worry. We can feed you with some yummy treats using this Play Doh made of Fun Factory. Oh, thank you so much. I, I hope I, I had the right pronunciation for that. I know there was a certain term for both. Between cabbage, like sorry, between both cabbage and a lettuce, but if I got the name of it wrong, but you, if you are familiar with the two terms, then you already know what I was getting at. He came for the shrimp. It actually tasted good. It's actually quite delicious. I thought that the shrimp was fantastic. The event, Indie Bio Demo Day. This powder is transglutaminase enzyme, otherwise known as meat glue. The primary ingredient comes from the blood plasma of pigs and cattle, specifically the coagulant, which causes blood to clot. If this ain't plastic, I don't know what the hell it is. Whole grown chicken, all right. This year's batch, two new food companies <laughs> with a radical idea to grow meat Damn. and seafood in a lab. In Europe, there's an international olive council that makes sure olive oil is produced up to standards. And if it isn't, makers can be fined and their olive oil can be taken off the shelves. But here in the U.S., olive oil sometimes isn't even olive oil. It can be... I live in Orlando, Florida. The rice will not freaking cook. We can go outside and play freaking cash with the damn rice. Did you just hear what he said? Nanobacteria. I'm going to play it for you again. He says nanobacteria in meat glue. Fishing. No more fish farms. The amount of bacteria on a... Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's, that's my bad. He said the amount 
I could have sworn he said nano, but I have heard that they put bot that they uh put bots in this meat, man. This uh meat glue stuff, they put bots in that. State that has been put together with meat glue is hundreds of times higher. This is plastic shit that the Food and Drug Administration is allowing to end up on the shelves of our supermarkets. So we're literally paying to freaking kill ourselves. This is bullshit. Y'all gotta do better. I'm sorry, but just seeing how pissed off that guy is right now, that that's me. That would be me, okay? That would be me, literally, because, like, how in the hell would you sell me some shit like that and expect me to just no, Just no. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's going to get worse. I'm, I'm just giving you all a uh, uh, fair warning on this. It's going to get worse. The stuff you about to see in here gets much, much worse. If you and trust me, do not eat Chinese food, okay? Don't eat the meats from there. Don't. Do not do it, okay? Don't do it. Free, Don't do it. But shrimp that looks, tastes, and feels just like shrimp. Dominique Barnes is the CEO of New Wave Foods. Her team analyzed shrimp on a molecular level. Our butcher couldn't tell even when it was raw. It's even harder in the restaurant, which are some of the biggest users of glued meat. And chances are, unless you're a vegetarian, you're eating it on a regular basis. Y'all got to do a freaking better job at what you're approving to end up on the shelves. And, and I, I'm paying my hard-earned dollars for this shit. This is bullshit. Okay? I didn't steal it. I didn't get it off the welfare line. I bought it. Chicken also now being artificially inseminated. Yeah, you do artificial insemination. How can I give you a 95% uh, fertility in all eggs? Using only certain plants and algae. Well, here we have a sample of our shrimp. The team engineered a new plant-based shrimp. Barnes says it's just as nutritious, but far more sustainable than wild shrimp, the number one consumed seafood in the U.S. With current labeling laws, neither butchers nor your local eatery have to tell you you're eating chicken glued together with cow's blood or beef held together by pig. It's the same reason they can take low-grade meat and pump it with water. It's plastic. sample of cells from a cow, a pig, or a chicken, adds nutrients, and then cultivates the cells into meat, like this meatball. Okay, the thing about that, this actually goes on, is a lot more disturbing than you think, and uh, it's not particularly too close to this article, but it is connected. There have been speculation, not speculation, but they have actually done this, and there have been footage of it that, has, uh, that they willingly showed. They are growing animals and synthetic based um wombs man they are growing animals in synthetic based wombs okay they have shown this so think about it if we're if all a lot of this meat is nothing but hog ass okay hog anus all right where's all the prime cuts going to is what i like to know Cause uh, I think I know, I, I think I do, I, I think I have a bit of an idea, and I'm sure the rest of you uh, are are probably most likely gonna figure that out as well. Anyway, with that, with that other way, let's continue. Like this, so old, a meat grater said it was only good for pet meats. You've got yellow fat color, really dark meat color. It's definitely off a really old type of animal. Chicken. 
as you can see, yes, I will definitely subscribe. I would definitely follow that because this is some good uh, content here. Anyway, let's go off to the final video. This one is uh, for video games and whatnot. There is one for um, that has stuff related to around cartoons and how the Illuminati was depicted. If it shows up on the bottom of this, I will play it. But if not, then I'll just end the video here. This one's like about a good eight minutes. You probably know somebody who plays uh, video games. Maybe you even know somebody who plays video games a little bit too much. He barely sleeps or eats. He's lost. Well, oh. I'm sorry for pausing here, but this was uh, one of the reasons why I'm telling everybody, look, do not put your all into materialistic things. And uh, it, it, it's like a double-edged sword when you do. The gang stars can just snatch it away. And then, you know, you'll be stuck in a situation to where you're, you know, dependent on that thing that is gone. You can't let that happen. I don't mean it being taken away. I mean, you can't, like, put your all into materialistic things like that. Because if you do, they will just manipulate it, toy with it, and, you know, for control over you. That's what it is. That's what they do. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who sees this. Again... Remember, things can materialistic things can always be replaced, but they can't replace. An, they, but there cannot be another you. Okay, they can try to clone you, they can try to replicate you. But you got to understand why you think they're so desperate to gain, you know, your inner consciousness. Why do you think they're so desperate to siphon that off into the machine? This whole thing, as like I said before, the movie called uh, Attack of the Body Snatchers. Because if you've seen a lot of depictions, it shows a lot of uh, men in black and secret agents related to, a, you know, with the Illuminati. Having uh, plans with the uh, aliens and whatnot, you know? Having plans with aliens, man. And it just reminds me so much of the movie called Attack of the Body Snatchers. What they were doing was they were um, kidnapping humans and they would siphon off their uh, consciousness to inject their, you know, they, so the aliens can inject their consciousness into the human being's body. Doesn't this seem a little bit too similar? Am I, I, I'm just saying, if you haven't seen Attack of the Body Snatchers, I highly advise you to watch it. It's a great film. Um, as is another one similar to this. The other one would be The Terminator that depicts a lot of the situation. And the other one would be The Matrix. Three, three great movies that have high depictions of the situations that we are within the time frames of what we are dealing with right now. With that out of the way, let's continue. Wait, and even has chipped teeth. I mean, it's just... I think that I just, I'm just not motivated to do anything in the real world anymore because I've just achieved so much online that if I gave up now, all of that would feel like a waste. The Russian teen, identified by local outlets as Rustam, died after reportedly playing a game for 22 days straight. Investigators said the teen had most likely been playing the video game for nearly 2,000 hours over the last year and a half. This fool played 40 hours straight. Barely drunk anything, barely ate anything. I don't even think his ass got up to use the restroom. He dies. 19 years old. He dies after a 40-hour gaming session. Two days later, an attendant entered the private room and found him resting on a table. And after he was woken up, he uh, got up, took a few steps, and then collapsed. If you think that internet gaming addiction isn't real, you haven't talked to Richmond dad, Rick McDonald. Rick McDonald believes his 20-year-old son is addicted to gaming. Places like this aren't helping. A new study shows the number of obese children and teens in this country keeps going up. In the late 70s, about five out of every 100 kids was obese. In 2004, that number more than doubled to 12. Now it's up to 13. And make no mistake about it, childhood obesity is a staggering problem. In fact, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, obesity rates have more than doubled in kids aged 6 to 11 years old during the past 30 years. And in adolescents, rates have more than quadrupled. Do you 
have a problem with video games? Yeah, I have a moderate problem with Okay, and how many hours a day on average? Probably about six hours. Okay. sure it's most I'm sorry for pausing it but I'm pretty sure most of you just realized the connection here when a kid or even a teenager binges on a video game what type of food do you think they are eating junk food those ingredients that I told you about and all the food that they're eating right there sodas high fructose corn syrup chips like uh, Cheetos those hot Cheetos all of that stuff, even Doritos, artificial flavors, and food coloring. Remember how they said the food coloring was coming from the insects? Yeah. Yeah. And that high fructose corn syrup is coming from scientific factories, okay? Scientists are, in, are genetically engineering this stuff. They're not natural at all. Natural flavors is a, basically a statement they use for food to you know push forward ingredients that you do not know they have long names okay this is what's killing a lot of people today out of the way let's continue out of playing online when it comes to my life the moment that i went to bed playing video games i would play it all day every day uh, i was totally immersed in it a lot of days during school where i would skip school to go home and play video games and for me it was a way to escape she says you wake up and you play them all day long until you go to bed that you eat in bed playing the game that uh -huh. you stay in bed playing the game uh -huh. that you put a pillow uh -huh. under uh -huh. your left leg you put a pillow behind your head you put your controller in your lap you sit there and play the game no! what the fuck I'm not going to be 
个上厕所、连接小便什么的，影响他上网、打游戏。带上尿不湿，带上尿不湿。Oh no! No, I mean I'm a gamer myself, a bit of a hardcore gamer, but I've never. Oh no, no, I didn't know they would. I didn't know they would do that. That is. No way. No way they would go that damn far. Fuck. Fuck. I, I apologize for my language, but wow. I would at least get up to get something to eat. I would at least, dang, for dang sure, definitely get up and go to the bathroom. And I would still make time for exercise. That's why I got my uh, workout equipment. But, shh, wow, just un unbelievable. Really, I'm, I'm, if, my, if some of my family said I had it, I had a bad addiction to video games. Mine wouldn't, I mean, I, I mean, sure, I spent a good amount of time on it, but it was, I mean, it was either that or hanging around in the streets, and, well, there's trouble in the streets, you know, there's trouble there, so I avoided that, and it's not, and it, as I stated before, if you guys, if you, if you all heard me before on some of my other videos, I would try to, like, do, in the past, like, I would try to just do my own thing whenever I was out, and just keep to myself, try to have fun at the same time, but, you know, trouble loves company. Mofos who were involved in no good shit would come in my vicinity, in my direction, inviting their trouble into my uh, area of uh, me keeping to myself. So I couldn't do that because I was trying to avoid uh, um, affiliation of association with said cr possible criminals. Because I didn't... Oh, excuse me. I didn't want to associate with people like that. You know, I didn't. I wanted nothing to do with what they were doing. On PSN, on Xbox, on in, on the uh, Nintendo Network, that stuff. Uh, just if there's no way I could know what those people are doing, that's a whole different scenario. You wouldn't even know because they, they probably won't even tell you. Even if they did, you don't have nothing to do with that. But it's a lot different when you are hanging out with people who do that out in the open when i mean like going out uh to a random locations with a person like that hanging around with them physically but online virtually or through voice chat that's a different scenario that's that's a whole different scenario so don't even think that that's even association that's not the kind of association i'm talking about no you but anyway let's continue I was a kid I was playing baseball man me and my old friends from a long time ago would like go in the back of the school when they were when it was closed and play baseball you would at least do that man I did a whole lot of stuff when I was a kid I did the hide I played hide and go seek I played wrestling I played baseball basketball um they had we had sleepovers and shit the whole nine yards you know the whole nine yards but i mean look at it the way society is like you can't do most of that no more man you can't not with these gang stalkers out and about uh-uh heck when i was uh when i was a kid we used to actually sleep in the tent on the front we were it was so safe out man you could sleep in the tent out on the front lawn okay you could sleep in a tent out on the front lawn. You can't do this. You can't do none of that now no more, man, because of 
co corruptive assholes out there. You can't... It, you can't do stuff like that.